Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of Tell Me Something Good. Um, I love the fact that we are taking the time and the effort and using new digital tools to pump goodness back into the universe, man. There's a ton of negative talk. People are crazy, but I'm super excited to have my friend, my colleague, one of the smartest marketing people I know. That's not bullshit. That's good news. Welcome, Scott Thaler. Thank you, Steve. It's good to be a part of it, and I'm flattered that uh, that's how you describe me because I know you know a lot of people, so that puts me pretty high on that list. You're high. Listen, the bar is high. Um, let, let me um, preface this whole conversation by your dad was one of the most significant influences in my life outside of my own dad and my grandfather. I learned so much from him. He was a mentor to me, as you know, obviously. And the fact that you and I have a relationship just makes me so proud and so happy. And, you know, I know that he's smiling on us today. Yeah, well, listen, it's the, it's the perfect start to this conversation, right? So it's about telling me something good. I think that this is uh, a perfect example of something good. This is uh, where relationships and uh, people and staying together and staying in contact really comes into play. I think I met you when I was going to sort of let age show. Uh, today's actually my birthday. So um, I, but I, think, I think I was like eight years old when I first met you. Um, and, you know, look at us now. Here we are, you know, both, you know, successful working guys that uh, are leaning on each other when times are good and when times are tough like they are right now. And uh, what, you know, something good is being able to foster relationships like this. So um, it has been fantastic. Awesome. And truly, I've enjoyed watching your shows and hearing your words and, and meeting the people that you've introduced me to. It's, uh, it has helped me not only now, but uh, even before all this garbage has started popping up. But, uh, you know, it's good stuff. You were eight years old? <laughs> That's yeah. Insane, man. Yeah, it's yeah. so insane. The, the thought of that, eight. Yeah. Oh my God. I know. I know. I don't want to tell you how old I am now, but uh, I've aged. But um, a, a big happy birthday to you. That is certainly something good. So I want to ask you because obviously, as I've watched you and your career grow, you have a unique uh, understanding of the digital marketplace. Your career has taken you to lots of places. Maybe you can share a little bit about where you've been where you're going now, because I know there's a lot of good things happening in your career and in your life. So why don't you share that with uh, with my group, my tribe? Yep, just real quick, um, started in traditional advertising, worked at an agency here in South Florida called Harris Jury Cohen, HTC, um, many, many moons ago. After about 11 years of being there, I went off into the dot-com startup world, um, sort of bought, sold, or closed a number of businesses over the years. If you hear me tell the story, all of them were successful. <laughs> but um, successful um, I say bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but we sold our last group to Equifax, and I stayed with Equifax for about uh, two and a half years as one of their VPs of marketing. And then I joined an agency called uh, Zimmerman uh, Advertising here in South Florida, uh, one of the best retail shops in the world. Um, built um, a retail division, uh, sort of really focused on how do we build sales overnight, brands over time. Um, and did that for 14 years. Uh, I was chief client officer, chief digital officer. And then uh, last thing I did there was chief integration officer. And uh, I left there to become chief marketing officer of Mattress Firm um, right before uh, Mattress Firm went into bankruptcy. And I was brought in to really weather tough times, um, which has really sort of wow. set me up for, for what we're going through right now, which is tough times. And what I'll tell you is, is that... Um, one of the good things, um, which again, we have to look for some of it because there's a lot of bad that's, that's sort of out there. And I know this is tough on people and tough on families and financial you know, portfolios. But um, during times like this, those people that know how to self-motivate and know how to look for differences and how to get things done, you can find opportunity. And when we were at Mattress Firm, we looked at zigging when everyone else was saying that we should go the other way. And... Um, we successfully navigated the retail landscape of going through a bankruptcy in 47 days, came out much more profitable than uh, anyone ever expected us to be, and uh, turned it back into a uh, very positive business. I left there in December, and today I have a consultancy, and I'm helping a number of agencies as well as retailers and brands sort of figure out how to navigate the waters. And before this really sort of came on, I was helping them figure out where they're spending their dollars, 
how they're working with agencies, how they can do things a little bit differently. With all of this going on, um, I put a little bit of the brakes on actually the business side of it. And I've really just sort of focused on the help side of it. And I'm offering my help and my counsel to a lot of businesses and leaders and junior people who just either want advice, they need to know how to do something, they need a connection point, all with zero um, expectations on the other side, other than formulating a relationship like what you and I have. So this is a time where we all have to band together and do a little bit more, and it may get us a little, a little bit more uncomfortable, but those dividends will pay out long term um, when everyone sort of comes through it successfully and those relationships are recognized. So I love that, and I love that for a lot of different reasons, but I think a lot of people don't operate with a strategy. They run the tactics. You have a strategy now, and the strategy is you can legitimately, genuinely, and authentically help people, and that's your strategy. You're going to help them because there will come a time when the economy is flowing again, and people don't forget those that help them. People who enter the marketplace looking to capitalize on this is cannibalistic. It's terrible. Boom, you're doing something that warms my heart. And I know that you can do it. And the fact that you are offering it is just amazing. It's great. Yeah. it's And listen, it's one of those things where people have done it back to me and they've said, what can I do for you? So this is a little bit about uh, sort of looking at how people used to do it, right? They would barter and trade for services and goods and, you know, sort of figure it out. If I need something, you know, if I need a programmer or someone with a little bit more SEO experience, what I have, people are willing to give that back, but I'm there giving them something. So um, it has been a very, I'm going to call it profitable uh, a relationship experience and what I'm getting, giving and what I'm getting back. So what I would say to everyone is, is um, you know, let's not look for what's in it just for me, which by the way, I get something out of this. I feel good. I get positive and you know warm relationship you know vibes that are coming back at me, and there's going to be new relationships because you're right. The business is not only going to come back; it's going to come back with a very strong tailwind. It's going to, you know, it's going to be a different world than what we sort of went into it with. But those people that are are well positioned for what you know is to come in the future, and that is relationships and ends and and successful businesses behind them, they're the people that are, that are going to succeed. And that's by being good people. That's, you know, that's incredible because, you know, I'm, I'm entering my 60th year, which is bizarre in a very short time. I'll be 60 years old and I've lived through a bunch of this. I've lived through hurricanes where people lost their homes and were devastated. I lived through nine 11 and there was nobody could focus on anything, but the world is ending. It's, you know, everybody was scared to leave their house and scared, you know, so no matter what comes our way, we are resilient. We are, we do have the capability to have compassion and empathy and, you know, we can laugh. And those who do are going to be the ones who just fly through this. And, you know, there are goods that are coming out of this. I rode my bike yesterday and I saw people walking, talking, you know, skating, taking yeah. advantage of, of things that they were too busy to take advantage of before. And so knowing it's your birthday, how are you celebrating your birthday in the middle of this, you know, uh, social distancing? Yeah. So uh, there are a couple of things. One is um, I just did the math on it. And if you're 60 and I just turned 51, it wasn't eight years old. So we'll have to, I'll go back and do that. <laughs> I, I don't want to age you quicker. Uh, than you think better on that. Uh, but I turned 51. So I started my morning with a 5.1 mile run. Um, try to do about 51 push-ups uh, for every mile that I did. Didn't really do it that well, but I got two <laughs> two sets when I was in. I'll I'll count those as a win. Um, I had my kids and my wife uh, gave me uh, breakfast this morning, and we got to oh, nice. lunch. We we're doing water balloons out in the backyard for a little bit, uh, making a couple phone calls. And this afternoon, we're going to be doing a virtual happy hour. So um, we're awesome. gonna. Drinks on old fashions are my favorite. So we'll make some old fashions here. Uh, we'll probably be out of my uh, driveway. Some people will be social distancing, drinking away across the street. Um, others on WebEx, whatever it is. Um, but for me, it's just all about how do I connect to some of those people. And listen, it's not the birthday party that we all wanted. We were supposed to be in the Bahamas celebrating, um, you know, doing something fun. 
you know what? It's about change, adapting. It doesn't mean that it's always perfect. It doesn't mean that I'm always happy. I know you're not always happy too. There's gonna be moments where we're gonna try to get it down, but this is where that reliance on the person next to you to lift you up, push you forward, give you what you need in order to, you know, really move, you know, and get going again. That, you know, that's what we have to all be there for. You know, I called you. There was a day where I was having a tough day, and I'm like, I'm like, you tell me something good, okay? I, <laughs> so, so being able to put this out there, uh, what I would say is, don't just just don't don't go inside. Like, be out. Like, talk to people, ask for advice, ask for people, tell a joke, make a TikTok video if you never would have done one. Let people laugh about it. <laughs> it's good stuff. Good, good for you. I am so proud of you. I know your dad would be unbelievable. Some people will know this word felling. I know, you know, he and your mom and everything, and they should be. You're a great human being. I'm glad that we're friends. It really warms my heart. We're going to share this episode today on your birthday. We'll give people the information to get in touch with you. And, you know, I hope they reach out and do that. You are awesome. Thank you for telling us something good. And we'll be in touch, brother. And Steve, and Steve, I just want to reiterate one more time. Anyone needs any kind of marketing help whatsoever. This is this is not for a business relationship. This is not about, you know, signing a contract. You need advice on how to ramp up your search campaigns, do something different with your digital campaigns. You have media that you don't know what to do with. Um, whether it's myself or someone that's in my network, you know, we're we're marketers for mankind. We're out there and we're, wow. we're in this this is not about making money. This is about helping you get your business through what it needs to get through because we need to be there for tomorrow. So just, just let me know. And Steve, the con put the contact information out. And again, it's people like Steve. It's people like Sarah Newton, people like myself, people like Michael Goldberg. There, there are people out there that are willing to, to help you if you need it. So just let us know. Marketers for mankind, drop the mic, my brother. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Thank you, guys. Be good. Happy birthday. Thank you, Steve. Bye. Bye-bye.